Welcome to another of Git's tutorials and on this tutorial we're going to go ahead and teach you how to add a printer using the TCP IP method. This is when the system does not recognize the printer in the network and you basically have to tell it where the printer is at. In this case we use the IP address to allow the system to know where the printer is located within the network and to get the IP address of the printer there's three easy ways of doing it. You can either access a router and try to see what IP was assigned to it dynamically or if you are in a company most of the printers tend to be already set statically so most of the printers tend to have a label with the IP address or a printer name on there and if you don't know neither one or you don't have access to either one of them you can actually print a network setup configuration from the printer just refer to your printer manual to see how you can print the report for yourself and get that IP address of that printer in this case I do have the IP address so all we just have to do is navigate to the control panel go ahead and select that we're going to go ahead and select view devices and printers and we're going to select add a printer and this is where I'm referring to if the system does not recognize the printer within the network or there's so many printers that you work in a company and it's a little bit messy they're not organized by IP address they tend to have like some random names just select the printer that I want is enlisted select add a printer using the TCP IP method select next and on the host name or IP address, that's where we're going to go ahead and enter the IP address that we have for that printer. In my case is 192.168.1.192. And just to keep it organized, I like putting the IP address and giving the printer a name on the port. This is a room printer. There's only one printer on the network. So I'm just going to select room printer. And I'm going to allow the system to install the drivers automatically. Select next and give it a few seconds on there. Okay, and it has been successfully installed. On the printer name, I like doing the same thing I did with the port name. I like giving it the same name, so 192.168.1.192. And room printer, select next. And I'm going to go ahead and not, I'm not going to share it, so I'm going to go ahead and select next. I don't want to do a test page, just select finish. And as you can see, it automatically populated it on there. It is set as the default printer and you can see that the name that we gave it, it's actually stated on there. So that's pretty much it. All you just need the IP address, direct it to where it's at, give it a name, allow the system to install the drivers and you're pretty much set. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and share, like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial.